Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about how I went from really unathletic, unfit as one might say, to I'd say like moderately athletic, you know, like I'm actually passionate about exercise now, which was unfathomable when I was younger. First, I'm going to give you the story of how I went from unathletic to moderately athletic, and then I will give you guys some like general steps that you could follow on your journey to becoming more athletic especially now with like the new year coming along that's everyone's new year's resolution just like if you're planning on making a new year's resolution stick with it and i know that you can do this when i was younger around like 8 to 12 i was like the pinnacle of unathletic simply because I really, really fell in love with books and I no longer really wanted to go outside because why go outside when like, you know, books exist and like you can travel from your like bed to like this like fantasy land. I would just sit on the couch or on my bed or anywhere really and read and absorb all these books like I was like a friggin' sponge. I would get picked last for sports and I would always feel like a mess during PE. I mean, I still really suck at sports, but that, that's besides the point. The only type of exercise I did was this one exercise, which very difficult. I would not suggest you attempt it. It's called the book bench press. You can get injured very easily. I actually remember the exact day where I was like, okay, I am so gonna get fit. That was when I was around like 13. On this day, we were gonna go to the river to celebrate the end of the school year because um, there's a river near my school and we just go there sometimes. And your girl forgot her bathing suit. So this friend of mine was like, okay, um, like I have a spare bikini, you can borrow it. I put it on and someone approached me and was like, yo, you almost have abs. That really triggered a change in my perspective for some reason. I guess I realized that if I wanted abs, I could have them. Like I almost had abs. So that means like if I worked hard enough, I could potentially get them. So from then on, I started doing five minute toning ab exercise videos on YouTube, just like randomly picking some video. I in particular liked the fitness planner ones, but as you can guess, five minutes, that's, that, that's not doing much. Like, especially since half of it is like crunches, which don't really do much for your abs. And also, the word toning doesn't even really make sense. You can't really tone a muscle, you can just lose fat and have the muscle look more prominent and defined. Eventually, I realized that there were more efficient ways of doing exercise. I started doing the Blogilates monthly calendar. Honestly, it was a godsend. Since it's more of like a, an actual plan with like a split, not just abs, there's like legs, there's arms, there's cardio. I started to feel like a beast. I was seeing so much progress so quickly and it felt really great. Although I don't agree with everything that Cassie Ho says, one of the things that she always mentioned kind of stuck with me and that is that once you start enjoying exercise and like just doing it because you love it that is when you'll see the most changes in your physique because you won't dread exercising and it'll become a habit and that was really applicable for me and i started to actually really like exercise obviously there are certain examples where not caring about your physique doesn't really work like let's say you're a bikini competitor you kind of have to care about your physique because that's what's gonna get you winning the competition but that like phrase of like you know start to enjoy exercise and don't really focus on the physical aspect of it focus on like the doing of it and enjoying it really diminished the unhealthier tendencies i had with exercise and once that was ingrained in me, I started to see all the benefits of exercise. For example, I started to see that I was sleeping better, my mood was better throughout the day, and I was less sluggish. And overall, I just felt more productive and like more complete human being. Eventually, this led to me achieving my physique goal of getting abs. 
and I remember I had people come up to me and they were like, oh my god, you have abs and whatnot. And like, did this make me as happy as I thought it would make me, the, the validation? And the answer is yes, it did make me as happy as I thought it would. But I feel like my happiness that was related to the validation and stuff, it sort of came from an unhealthy place. In the end, you know what ended up making me happier? My PE teacher saying that I inspired her because I got my butt in gear and I was fit now and I wasn't at the back of the pack when like we went to PE class and I was enjoying it and I looked really happy and that made me happy. Knowing that she was happy about all of my achievements made me even happier. Just to clarify, she didn't see my abs, she didn't care about the physical changes, she just saw my change in sense of self. I did the blog a lot of these calendars for long enough that I got really bored of them and eventually I could just like predict what Cassie would be saying. In my head I would be reciting the video as I was doing it because I had just done the videos so many times. And that was around the period of time that I discovered Natasha Oshia. If y'all have seen my other videos, you've seen me ranting about how much I love Natasha Oshian. She is amazing. Just such a well-rounded athlete. Something that makes me happy is that she makes sure to check in with people who are specialized in the areas that she makes like guides. Like for example, she got Renee McGregor, the nutritionist for the Olympic team in London to look over her nutrition plan and verify that everything that she was saying was healthy. I realized that for me it was more important to have like functionality from exercises. Pilates is, is great at making you strong, but it's not as good at making you a functional human being in the same way that for example calisthenics and weightlifting does, which are now my main interests. My number one goal really is just to do these like insane um, calisthenics feats of strength, like the planche and all that. I tweaked my training and I got to a point where I was able to do like 40 push-ups in one go and like three pull-ups, which was insane to me because no matter how hard I tried, I could never get a pull-up, but I got three. But in the past year, my fitness journey has sort of wavered because I've been injured on and off this entire past year. So that sucks but hopefully I will be getting back on the consistent proper training sometime later this year or early next year. The most important part is that my passion for exercise still remains. In conclusion, the steps I have for you. Inform yourself on exercise from the beginning. Don't just start doing and then figure stuff out later. Force yourself to do exercise until it becomes second nature, like even if it's just 15 minutes a day. Analyze what you want to get from your fitness regimen. So don't just go into a fitness regimen and just be like, oh yeah, I'm just doing exercise for the lols. Like, what do you want to get from it? Do you want to be functional? Do you just want to look a certain way? Do you just analyze your priorities and what you find fun? also is very important. That's a good segue into the next point, which is try different areas of exercise that you think you might enjoy. Just enjoy it and continually progress yourself. Progressive overload is key. Without it, you won't progress. And also diet is very important. So don't just rely on exercise to provide you with all the benefits that you want. That's about all the advice I can give from experience. I might try to capture my comeback from all the string of injuries that has been following me for this past year because I feel like there aren't many people out there showing their journeys, basically being put back in square one after being fit and then having to work your way back up to what you had before. Also, even after I achieve what I had previously done, I want to top it and keep going and keep progressing and keep getting better. We'll see where life takes me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a nice day or night. It's already gotten a bit dark, so I'm sorry about that. But this is the only time I had to film. So I guess I'm gonna have to tweak it in editing, see how I can get the brightness sort of similar throughout the video so that the change isn't that noticeable. Like if you wanna like, subscribe if you wanna see more content, comment maybe if you want to. All those YouTube things, bye. Also,
Natasha once ran a video casually for a YouTube video. Ran a video casually for a YouTube video. Ran a video casually for a YouTube video. Like, 